Welcome to Unit Design 101, where we break down the overall factors that make units useful in Fire Emblem and beyond. Whether you're a ROM hack creator or merely interested in overall design, this resource is for you. This week we are taking a look at Myrmidons, the challenges facing sword-locked infantry, what unique attributes can make them stand out, and why many players feel that Mercenary is the superior unit class in most situations. The Myrmidon is a sword-locked infantry unit, notable for having very high speed and skill. Their other stats vary from unit to unit, but are usually fairly average, and they tend to have slightly lower defenses than other physical units. A Myrmidon usually promotes into Swordmaster, a class still limited to swords, but that gains higher critical rate and or the Astro proc skill to compensate. Myrmidons fill a somewhat narrow role in a player's army. Often the fastest and most accurate units you have, particularly in the early game, they usually have a strong matchup against axe fighters, being able to avoid their attacks and double them back. They have an incredibly weak matchup against Armor Knights, unless given an Armor Slayer or Magical Sword, as their low strength, combined with the low might of swords, often leaves them incapable of dealing significant damage against these high defense opponents. The Myrmidon class is perhaps the class most impacted by the Weapon Triangle in all of Fire Emblem, as both its naturally strong and naturally weak matchups align with the Triangle's bonuses and penalties for swords. Extra evasion and damage stacks notably well against fighters, when the Myrmidon's game plan is to avoid and double and any amount of damage lost against a high defense unit, such as a knight, is a much higher percentage of the total damage lost. Being limited to swords often restricts a Myrmidon's ability to attack at range. Most games have very few 1-2 range swords, and the ones that they do have are often magical, limited, or only available in the late game. Because of this, Myrmidons tend to be attacked by enemy archers much more often, being both unable to counter and taking significant damage back due to their low defense. To make up for the sword's lack of ranged options, Myrmidons have historically been specialized towards either critical hits or skill activations to deal more damage at closer range. This often takes the form of having a weapon with an 8 crit, such as a killing edge, in their starting inventory, or having damage boosting skills such as Ira's Astra, Holland's Luna, or Felix's Crest of Fraldarius. However, many of these bonuses for most Myrmidons only apply to the promoted Swordmaster class giving unpromoted Myrmidons a slight feeling of being a trainee type of class in the worst situations. Before going any deeper on Myrmidons, we must mention Mercenaries. Before Fire Emblem 6, Mercenaries and Myrmidons were, for all intents and purposes, the same class. But after Fire Emblem 6, Mercenaries became the more well-rounded sword infantry, with higher base stats across the board, but lower speed and skill, and a promotion to hero giving axes. Myrmidons, in turn, became more specialized, losing some general bulk and strength for a more specific focus on skill and speed, and promoting into Swordmaster, with higher speed and skill caps and a greater focus on critical hits. This split seems reasonable, but it tends to go unfavorably for the Myrmidon, especially in games with weaker enemies. The extra versatility of having higher average bases and getting access to axes on promotion made Mercenary and Hero a much more solid jack-of-all-trades infantry class, with enough speed to double, enough skill to hit, enough strength to deal meaningful damage, and enough bulk to survive enemy hits. For a Myrmidon to stand out, their higher speed and skill needs to be meaningful. However, speed is a threshold stat, and if the Mercenary is hitting the doubling threshold, then the extra speed of the Myrmidon means only a little more avoid. Meanwhile, skill is a compounding stat, so a few extra points doesn't make a significant difference in terms of hit or crit rates most of the time. This is one reason why Myrmidons in games with stronger enemies, such as Fire Emblem 6, tend to be looked upon more favorably, or at least equivalent, to mercenaries, as the few extra points in speed and skill, in addition to extremely favorable crit rates and hard mode bonuses in FE6's case, can make a meaningful difference over a mercenary's generally above average stat setup. In modern Fire Emblem games, the Vantage skill has become their signature trait. This skill allows a unit to counter before the enemy attacks, though often with some restrictions, such as the unit needing to be below 50% HP. The skill rewards players who are willing to play risky, putting Myrmidons at low HP in order to defeat enemies without taking direct attacks. Myrmidons often are not the best users of the skill, however, as being locked to one range and often requiring a crit or another skill proc to defeat the enemy in a single blow can mean that in many situations the skill does not provide value. However, in games where skills can be learned permanently and then transferred to other classes, the Vantage skill makes Myrmidon a useful part of many leveling paths, as it is a key component of many enemy phase-focused skill builds, usually including other threshold skills such as Wrath, Resolve, or Defiant skills. 
A good Myrmidon often requires some help from the game to set up optimal combat situations for them. Mystery of the Emblem and Thracia 776 force mounted units to dismount inside of buildings, allowing Myrmidons to be stronger and more mobile for certain chapters. Fire Emblem 4 gives Myrmidons powerful proc skills such as Astro or Luna, and combined with their low weight of swords and the defense bypassing effect of critical hits, this makes them into very effective arena grinders and boss killers, at the cost of being less mobile and less versatile compared to cavalry. Fire Emblem 6 gives Swordmasters 30% bonus critical chance instead of the now standard 15%, on top of having enemies with much higher speed and luck than many other games meaning Myrmidons and Swordmasters are often some of the only units in your army capable of hitting, doubling, and critting, even over mercenaries and heroes. That said, Fire Emblem 6 is unique because all of the Myrmidons you get are recruited red units, while all of the mercenaries you get are not, leading to only Myrmidons getting hard mode bonuses, so some may say this is not a fair comparison. A bad Myrmidon is one whose niche of speed and skill is not valued, or one who suffers from bad matchups constantly. Shadow Dragon DS is full of cavaliers and armor knights that use lances, and has an extreme form of the weapon triangle, making Myrmidons a poor class choice for most units before the high speed cap of Swordmasters makes them viable for late game. Path of Radiance has Myrmidons who provide a rather weak combat compared to being less mobile and less versatile than most other units in your army. Radiant Dawn Edward does not start with enough speed to double, or enough bulk to survive more than one hit, and these issues compound with a lack of weapon triangle on hard mode, preventing him from capitalizing on the few good matchups he might have early on. Most games feature Myrmidons who are not bad, but are often overlooked because their niche is not important enough to sacrifice other units' versatility. Gi, Joshua, Zaharik, Longku, Hana, and Lapis are not generally bad units, but their lack of versatility relative to other units often limits their usefulness, as their speed or killing potential is not valuable enough in their games to give up the versatility of a different weapon type or higher movement range. Despite all of these issues, Myrmidons are often fan-favorite characters for many players. This tends to be because of player psychology and presentation rather than any mechanical feature of the Myrmidon, and while this series is about mechanical function more than flavor and feel, there is something to be said about a unit with high evasion and high critical chance that can make them stand out from the crowd in the player's mind and heart. Low enemy chances to hit, and high player chances to crit, provide a gambling-like rush for some players, allowing Myrmidons to feel like unkillable gods, useless scrubs, or anything in between, simply because of their interaction with the RNG. So, what have we learned about Myrmidons? First, their speed and critical hits are their niche. If you want a strong Myrmidon, feature weak bandits or strong bosses. Second, they have a higher weapon triangle impact than other units, so think very carefully about the weapon type distribution you have in your game. Third, Myrmidons have a lack of versatility, meaning you need to make them stand out in other ways, usually through their combat skills. Fourth, if offering a powerful skill, players may take the skill and leave the class line, as seen with Vantage. Fifth, players will tend to have strong opinions about your Myrmidons. If you embrace this fully, some players may make fun of you for it, but others will find their favorite characters in all of Fire Emblem. And that's it for this week's lesson on Myrmidons. If you have any questions or want me to discuss another unit type next, leave that in the Discord or the comments below. A special thanks to Lacuzgard members C2 Peakley and Enigmatic Mr. L for keeping the channel going. You can support for less than a dollar a month. And until next time, this is Mithril Zenith, signing out.